Hey, what's going on? Jeremy Watson here from jeremyschallenge.com. Uh, I've been getting asked a lot about how to make squeeze pages and how to actually um, pretty much create a squeeze page easily without going through HTML or any other kind of uh, craziness that takes a while to learn. And I did a video on my blog about how to do that. I gave you a template and everything, but people were still like, this is a little bit out of my skill level. How can I actually create a squeeze page a little bit easier than that? And this is what I use now. I don't go through any HTML or anything like that now. So what I'm at, I'm in uh, WordPress right now. And basically what uh, I have is a theme on here called Optimized Press. Now, if you've heard of Optimized Press and you haven't got it yet, I don't know why you don't. But here's how it works. Basically, it has templates that you can use and uh, also all kinds of different squeeze pages and everything that you can use. So uh, we're in, we're at add a new page to my WordPress. I'm going to make a title that's going to be capture page one. And then what I'm going to do is I scroll down to the, and then on the right, I'm going to pick a template. Now the templates are really cool because they're all laid out right here in front of you. And if you just go all the way to the bottom, you're going to see all these squeeze page templates. All right, you can pick whichever one you want. My favorite is 12 because there's hardly anything on it, and it seems like the simpler the better. All right, so uh, I'll pick one for right now. And then what you do, you go down and you scroll down, you see there's settings for squeeze page, squeeze page, squeeze page, squeeze page. And you'll go down and you can actually customize all these things. Overall page settings, you open it up and you check it out, see if you want a Facebook share images or anything like that. Um, navigation settings, you open it up, we don't really want a navigation bar. Um, gateway for launch, no. And there's instructions in the back office for Optimized Press for all of these settings. Um, let's see, headline options. This is where I usually start. Um, Pre-headline, you can start with that. Um, attention, affiliate marketers. All right, and you just kind of go through and you fill this out. Discover a simple uh, simple yet effective way to build uh, mouth drooling high converting capture pages in minutes and then uh, you can edit all the settings, the fonts, and everything. You can add in a video. If you have a video you want to put on there, it actually it puts it in its own player, it, even if it's on YouTube, so it can auto start if you want it to or anything like that. Uh, then you come down here to opt in form. You put in your uh, opt in, your autoresponder code, and stuff like that. I don't have mine right now, but let's just go through and see, select the image. So the next thing you want to do is after you put in your opt-in form uh, code, you would come on here and you would pick a button that you want to people to be able to click on. So let's see. All right, so here's like the list of buttons that people can click on. So uh, on all of your autoresponder forms that on your squeeze page it always has some kind of button that they click on to opt in after they fill out the form and they actually give you a list of different ones in different colors which is pretty cool and you know you can pick whichever one you want and then uh, it will be there and it will work for an opt-in so let's say show me the video or send me the video or get instant access let's do get instant access I always like that one and after that you just click you selected image and then we will preview the page alright so here we are and this is actually what the squeeze page would look like um, the opt-in form obviously won't work because I didn't put in my autoresponder code but we literally did this right in front of your eyes in like five five minutes 
Um, you can also go through and change the template and stuff like that. So let's go through and do that right quick. So down here, like we go, we can pick like squeeze page. This is my favorite, squeeze page number 12. We'll just click update, go back over here, and refresh the page. And right in front of your eyes, we'll watch it change. And here we go. So this is really how simple it is. And also they have features to add in arrows and everything like that. But literally this is what I use to do all of my squeeze pages, my sales letters, everything. Uh, just for the simple fact that it saves me a absolute ton of time. A ton of time. And I don't mess with any coding or anything unless I'm trying to do something super fancy with, um, with my capture pages or sales letters or something like that and you can also set up the um, website optimizer from Google so you can split test your capture pages all inside um, Optimize Press in the back office and uh, inside your WordPress so if you want to get Optimize Press I highly recommend that you do because if you do capture pages you do a lot of promotions you want to generate leads for your business uh, for your products whatever it may be you might want to spend a lot less time creating the pages more time promoting them so if you want to pick this up I highly recommend it there's a link down below this video I highly recommend picking it up and if you have any questions just feel free leave me a comment and I'll try and answer all of them so with that Jeremy Watson from jeremyschallenge.com I hope you enjoy this video and if you get Optimize Press it will save you a ton of time talk to you later